Hi people, it's December now and I think I've been in this country long enough to be able to say a list of the things that I've found most shocking about living here. First thing is that in Edinburgh, well, I do travel a lot by bus. I basically t catch a couple or maybe three or four buses a day. So I've spent uh, <laughs> a lot of time in a bus. Therefore, many things in the list are bus related. And the first one would be that, well, they only have a door. In Spain, or at least in my city, I'm used to having buses that have like, you, you come in through one door and then exit the other one. And, and you cannot do otherwise. In here you only have one door. Here the use the buses we have are the same ones as you see as you see in London. They're not red but they still have two floors and just one door. Not only it's weird to have to go in and out through the same door because then like when you have to pass through the, the, the driver it's quite crowded if you want to come in and go out. But the strangest thing for me is that everyone says thank you to the driver after the, they're gone. So you can say old versions of thank you or cheers or um, whatever you feel like saying to him or her. But yes, you like thank the driver for taking you whenever you needed to be taken. Which is quite surprising because buses here are really expensive so they should be thanking you. Thing number two apart from the buses they have a shop in this country called Poundland, which is kind of heaven, because it really has everything for a pound. And we don't have that in Spain. I had books for a pound, Christmas lights for a pound, brushes for a pound, pens for a pound, lipstick for a pound, and so on and on and on and on. Maybe you've heard if you watch Doctor Who, you might have seen the first episode of Matt Smith's doctor going to Scotland, meeting Amy Pond and um, asking her to fry something because she's Scottish. I thought that was a, like one of those things that are not really true until you come here. Yes, they have deep fried pizza, they have deep fried Mars bars. And not only in the shops, but I live with a Scottish girl and, uh, well, and not only the Scottish girl really, because mostly everyone just buys like fried, not fried, but when you, when you put like bread crumbles over everything and just put it in the oven. So it's not actually fried, but uh, after all, meals here are all ready, like you have kappa soups, you have kappa soups with macaroni, you have mac and cheese, you have all sorts of wedges, I've, I, I never knew what a wedgie was before I came here, chips, you can buy chips everywhere, um, so everything is basically ready for you, just to boil some water on, put on the oven or whatever, and it's quite more cheap to do that than actually buy the vegetables and do it yourself because I've been doing that ever since I came here um some of my like some of my meals are are a lot more expensive just because I buy ve vegetables healthy food and cook it so not only the meals but when they have it I thought they would have a schedule because in Spain we have really like defined hours we have breakfast and then we have lunch with its which is big and then we have what they don't have which is called merienda which could translate here to some kind of supper no it's supper it's later than dinner isn't it um, so yes we have the merienda and then we have our dinner and in here they don't i've seen my roommates eat with me eat before me eat after me they when when i have my lunch at like two they have a sandwich they eat lots of bread and um, and then they have the big dinner at like six or seven and then they don't eat anymore which would be true except for the next point which is tea they drink tea all the time 
I've seen my my roommate Becca have like one cup of tea after the other. It's like chain smoking, but the healthier version. One thing that I don't like about this country it's university. University is quite impersonal here, which means that you don't get a class uh, like with the same people all the time. Uh, I've been here for three months and I don't know anyone from university because I have four different lectures. They're in four different buildings. In each of them there's different people and someone just got locked out and it's knocking on the door. So yeah, that happened. Um, where the hell was I? Yes, university in here kind of sucks because of those reasons and because it's really impersonal and I don't quite fancy the way they do things in here. And that leads me to the main reason why I'm doing this video, which is I have an essay to write and it's due in a week and I just don't want to do it. I've been doing this video in order not to finish my essay and not start the other essay that I have due to. Yes, in Spain we have our all plain exams in which you go to an examination knowing what you have to say, you have your syllabus, you have knowledge of the things that go into the syllabus, you know, like, you can put things in the exam without fearing all those we don't have to quote or to reference or to know which year it was when someone said anything or you can just put things that you know just because you know them because you've learned them and not just quote the person that said the thing in the first place and you're able to put things in your words without fearing that you're saying the thing you want to say but with someone else's words and therefore you'll be kicked out of university and never be able to go to a university in the whole of the UK again just because you... yeah. So apart from that, it's a great place to be living now, Scotland, great country. I've basically made this my home in case you haven't noticed all the Doctor Who stuff and the Christmas lights and Doctor Who. Yeah, I was able to go to the 50th anniversary, watch it on 3D in a cinema full of people and people dressed as Daleks and uh, it's been a fun November. Not going to be so fun in December though. Uh, so that's all for today. I'm going to stop and keep procrastinating about my two essays. Uh, so yes, just I'll uh, see you around and uh, in here. Alrighty, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. I'll heal.